one of the first things that I had to do was to say bye to all of the furry animals in my life. Then I had to pack my suitcases, and packing your whole life in two suitcases is not easy, especially anybody that knows me knows that I don't pack lightly. Um, so these suitcases were packed, unpacked, and repacked probably six times before I finally got them under the weight restrictions. And the next step was to drive to Toronto. Um, we didn't want to risk flying out of Timmins because as we all know the flights are cancelled often and I did not want to start the first leg of my trip like that. And then once we finally arrived to Pearson, it was probably the hardest part of my trip was to say bye to my family. Uh, even my sister cried as you can see <laughs> at the zoomed in clip. Next was uh, the dreaded part of tracking my suitcases to make sure they actually made it to my destination and it was finally time to board the first flight. Um, my first flight of the day was from Toronto to Vancouver, which was a five hour flight, um, and there's a three hour time zone difference, so Vancouver is three hours behind uh, the Northern Ontario time. And then I just took a few snippets. Um, it's not very easy to see, but this clip was flying over the mountains. And once I landed in Vancouver, um, I think part of the course it was raining, and I had about a three hour layover here. At this point, it was 4.45 p.m. in Vancouver, um, but 7.45 p.m. in Timmins. So I had already been traveling for about seven hours. And I just walked around for a little bit exploring the Vancouver airport and grabbed a few snacks uh, because I knew the next flight was gonna be a long one. And then I found this handy dandy little cart, which I used to walk around the airport uh, to save my back a little bit and I just kind of walked around as much as I could to stretch my legs uh, before the 15 hour flight to Sydney. And I saw these Kinder chocolates and anyone who knows me knows Kinder is my favorite, um, but I unfortunately had no room in my bags to even buy anything, so I could just look. And these next few clips are just some uh, areas of the Vancouver airport. And now it was time to board the flight to Sydney. I didn't get any clips while we were in the air because it was uh, overnight and we were 40,000 feet up, so it was completely black. Uh, but you can enjoy the next few clips, which are um, when we started to come into Sydney. And finally, after 15 hours, very little sleep, and a lot of screaming kids on the plane, I had finally landed in Sydney. And it was 27 degrees. <laughs> I only got about two clips uh, going through the Sydney airport because I had to go through customs, grab my baggage, go to a different terminal, um, and almost missing my connection because everyone kept giving me wrong directions. So these are the only two clips. <laughs> and then I boarded the third and final plane of the day uh, after 29 hours of travel from Sydney to Melbourne. This was about a one and a half hour flight um, and I was extremely happy. I had the entire row to myself in an exit row so I had tons of leg room um, and it was actually a very comfortable flight. And then I collected my bags from the luggage carousel and waited for the shuttle bus that I had arranged for through the university. Uh, they apparently tried to contact me, but because my number wasn't active because I was still in airplane mode, they weren't able to reach me. Um, so this was a little interesting because I had to ask a stranger to borrow his phone to call them to see where they were so I could get a ride to my apartment. And the first thing that I see as we leave the airport is a McDonald's. So I know at least that I can eat <laughs> until I get some real food in my apartment. And then finally, after about two hours on the shuttle and in total a 31 hour travel day, I had finally gone to my apartment. Currently in uh, Melbourne, it was about one o'clock in the afternoon and in Timmins it was 9 p.m. the day before so there's a 16 hour time zone difference uh, so needless to say I was a little exhausted uh, and splurged with a little Domino's pizza which is definitely not as good as it is in America 
and then I went to bed at about 5 p.m. Melbourne time. And after a nice sleep in my new apartment, I woke up at about 4 a.m., uh, brushed my teeth, and went out to check out the rooftop terrace at my apartment. And now I've just been making this vlog for you all to watch. Thanks for joining me on my travels. I hope you guys enjoyed.